Mark Henninger, uh, editor from ABS Forum, and I am talking to Freddie, yeah. Freddie Knopp? Is yeah, that right? Frederick Knopp. Yeah. Frederick Knopp, all right. Uh, from HEAD, uh, which stands for Heinz Electrodynamic Designs. Exactly. And uh, so I, I was walking through Can Jam 2020 and I noticed uh, the, the basically the banner says world's first full range <laughs> air motion transformer. The context here is a headphone. So uh, tell me what's going on. I mean, what's the inspiration? Uh, what's the performance? What's the price? What's yeah, the yeah. And all that? I'll give you a little uh, run through. So. Um, yeah, Motion Transformer traditionally is a tweeter design and um, the main person behind this tweeter design is my father, Klaus Heinz, who picked up this idea from an inventor in the late 70s. His name was Oskar Heil, a German-American physicist actually. My father turned this into a, a compact, reliable form and started making uh, loudspeaker tweeters uh, with it. So there are a whole lot of speaker models in the context of a company called Atom Audio and in the context of this company uh, called Head. Uh, and these speakers are mostly aiming towards the recording industry, music production, um, mastering studios, broadcast. And uh, these speakers incorporate the, tweet, the tweeter design based on the AMT. Compared to a traditional driver, the AMT is, um, is a large diaphragm that is folded into a magnetic field. And each fold is kind of squeezing the air out as opposed to just pushing it back and forth. So there's an acceleration of air actually going on, which is really great for catching fast transient material, um, working with musical signals that have short attacks, like you know fingernails on guitar strings, uh, all sorts of drum sounds, everything that is fast can be captured really well with this system. And one of the things we always wanted to do, and that we have finally you know, cracked the code basically, is to build uh, a headphone that is actually uh, capable uh, of full range um, reproduction and that is exclusively based on the emotion transformer and this is the special thing we show here it's a headphone that is obviously called headphone uh, in <laughs> with regards to the company's name and it's the first full range device based on the AMT wow so uh, it, I guess they are necessarily large is, is that uh, that has to do with I guess the, the limited motion of yeah so the folding gives a lot of surface area, but it doesn't move exactly. a lot, right? It, that's exactly the point. You have a very large diaphragm compared to all other traditional diaphragm forms. And uh, in order to move that, you need a lot of magnetic flux. And so the magnets in the driver are actually um, quite more on the heavy side. So the entire design is, is, um, is big. And um, another thing is that you want to create quite a wide sound stage and, um, and you achieve that by creating uh, a lot of distance between the actual moving diaphragm and your ears. Uh, so that's, that makes it a little bit bulky, but it's really good for you know the, the kind of staging we had in mind. Okay, yeah. At a show like this, you yeah. see a lot of planar magnetic designs, and sure. they are they do skew towards the larger size. Yeah, it kind of seems like that's winning out over the uh, in-ear monitor approach to uh, yeah. high yeah. fidelity. So I think we should this is built an enthusiast audience, but uh, what would be a, a benefit to to using the air motion transfer versus the uh, planar magnetic type uh, of yeah. diaphragm? Well, I. Essentially, in the nature of the AMT lies uh, a specific sonic signature that, we have, that we've always loved uh, in the speakers and that definitely translates into the headphone design as well. And I think it's really about um, being fast, being transparent, being, being as super precise as possible. Uh, I think our background as um, mastering engineers, people who engineer records, that's that's what makes us what we are. It definitely shows in the way the headphone performs, the headphone sounds. So, um, so you yeah. could use it as a professional tool. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it, it'll be great for everyone in audio post-production, but um, equally well suited for people who just enjoy listening to music and who look for a device that actually translates the I don't want to sound pathetic, but like the uh, vision of the artist or the, the actual result of a record production. You know, this, this is our mission in a way. All right, so what about the details of uh, the product itself? So it comes with an impedance of 42 ohms, so it's advisable to have like a, a dedicated headphone amp. 
Um, it, it's kind of comparable to planar magnetic headphones in a way that how, how it needs fuel to work at its best. Right. Um, it's uh, yeah around 700 grams heavy. Um, that's uh, another thing I could mention. In the U.S., uh, they cost uh, 1,900 dollars. Okay. Everything. Um, at the moment, we're working with Headphones.com, and we're building like a small, like dedicated network of dealers okay. in the U.S. Yeah. So, what about the, the, the power aspect of it? How much? Uh, is, do you have a sensitivity number? Yeah, yeah it's 87. Okay, it's, uh, so you do need to uh, give it some power. Exactly, exactly. Uh, and how much On a power phone, can it would take? Be well, I mean, you would at least need like a watt, I think, to in order to enjoy it, but okay. uh, it can take a lot more than that. So before it starts to distort, it, so um, okay. it's it's not a very esoteric design in a way that needs like, specific devices to run it properly or something. Okay. And well, maybe also important to mention that we handcraft all these in Berlin, so it's it, everything is made from scratch in our in-house production. Yeah. I'm going to have to give them a listen then. Yeah, and, uh, thank go you ahead. for that overview. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you.